Hi, in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert a table of contents into your Word document. I'm also going to show you how to add titles, headings, update the table of contents, and show you how to customize it. So let's get started. So I've just set up a really simple document for demonstration purposes. And I'm able to view my document like this because if I go to the view tab up here, and then I just click on this icon here that says multiple pages. It will allow you to view multiple pages at the same time. Then all you do is go down to the slider at the bottom here, the zoom slider, and just reduce the size of your document. And as you do so, more and more pages will appear in line. And as you then scroll in, those pages will move. I know some of you have asked on the previous demonstrations just how to show this view. So the first thing I need to do is add some page numbers to the bottom of my document because without page numbers obviously your table of contents won't make much sense. So if I double click on my footer and then I can go up to the header and footer tab up here and then along to page numbers here. Click on the drop down and click page number. Then this dialog box will appear here and then you can simply Click on the alignments if you want, left, centre, right, and then click OK. Now, as you can see, my page numbers appeared on my cover page, and that's not something that I want. So I'm just going to press the Command Z key to go back one step, go back up to page numbers, click on page number, and then I'm just going to uncheck this box here that says show number on first page and then just click center and click OK. Now again, as you can see here, the page number begins with number two. If you want your page number to begin with number one, then I have a video that will not only show you how to change your first page number to number one, but it also will show you how to insert your page numbers starting on page three or four, depending on where you want them to start. And I'll link that in the description below. So now I'm just going to double click back onto the main part of my document. So now I just need to tell Word how to distinguish between all of my headings and which headings are which. So my headings one and my subheadings. As you can see, if we're in the home tab here, there's a ribbon here which refers to all those different headings, subheadings, subtitles, titles, etc. And these are all ones that you can use within your document. So we're just going to focus on heading one at the moment. So in order to tell Word which are our headings, we just simply click and drag on our heading and then go ahead and hold the command or control key down and continue to select all the headings that you want under heading one. Once you've done that, go up to the ribbon here and click heading one. So now you can see that all of the headings have changed in terms of their font and their color, but I want to change them to something different. So I'm gonna go up to the font area here in the home tab I'm going to click on the color and click automatic. I'm going to make those headings bold and underline them. And I'm going to ensure they're on the original font. Once you've created the headings you want, then go ahead and do exactly the same with the subheadings, making sure that you hold down the command or control key on your keyboard. And just go up and select heading two. Again, the headings have now changed. And again, I'll just go up to the font area and change all those back to where I want them to be. And as you can see, these titles have moved over to the left. In order to move them back over to the right to line up with my subparagraph, I'm just going to go up to this icon here and click once. And as you can see, they've all moved back. Once you've finished formatting all of your titles, you'll want to insert your table of contents. And I'm going to insert it between the cover page and the second page. So I ensure that my cursor is on the bottom of my cover page, go up to the References tab and select this icon here that says Table of Contents. Click on the drop down, then you can see you've got a menu of lots of different options, all of which you can customise. So I'm just going to select Simple and as you can see, although my Table of Contents has appeared, it's appeared at the bottom of this page. So to ensure it goes through to the next page, I'm just going to click here, go up to the Insert tab, 
and just simply select page break. And then again, we've got this section here which we want to move down to the next page. Simply place your cursor above it and click page break. If at any time you want to delete your page breaks, then just go to the home tab, select this icon here, and as you can see, it will bring up these page breaks. Hold your command or control key down, click and drag, and simply press delete. So once again, I'm just gonna go up to insert and select the page break. Now, although you've inserted your table of contents, you'll probably want to go ahead and make changes to your document. And if you do so, then it's really easy to update this table of contents. So let's say, for example, we want to take out this title here, and therefore this title should be removed here. If I go ahead, just select that title and press delete, click on my table of contents, and then this arrow should appear at the top. Click on the drop down and select update table. And as you can see, that title has now disappeared. If you've made a mistake, then of course, go ahead and click Command or Control Z. And then you can move back two steps. In addition, if you want to go ahead and add titles, then we can just add a title down here. Then we'll highlight it select heading one so once we've inserted our new title we'll just go up back to our table of contents double click click on the drop down and click update table click update entire table and click ok and as you can see this reading view appears at the bottom Now that I've shown you how to create and update your table of contents, I'm now going to show you how to customise it. There are two ways to customise your table of contents, a really easy way and a slightly more technical way that allows you to change individual headings. So the first and simple way is just to simply click on your table of contents and go up to these three dots here. That will highlight all of your table of contents. And then you can just go up to the Home tab and then you can go to this area here and begin to make the changes you want. So for example, you can change the font. You can change whether you want the font to be bold. You can change the font color. And you can change the italics. If you want to just change the title, highlight it, go up to this section here, you can click on center text, then you can increase or decrease the size of the font, underline it, and make all the changes you need to. The second and slightly more advanced way to customize your table of contents is to select your table of contents, make sure you're on the references tab, and go along to table of contents over here and click on the drop down. Then go all the way to the bottom and click on custom table of contents and here you have a dialog box which will give you a number of different options so if for example we wanted to change the dotted line between the title and the page number we can use this tab here click on the drop down and then you can either have none the dotted line the dash line or the single line but if you want to change individual headings such as heading one then if you click modify, then you'll be presented with this dialog box, which will list your headings, headings one, two, three, etc, etc. So I'm currently on heading one because it's highlighted in gray. If I go down here to modify, then this dialog box here appears. And within all of these different options, I can change all of the features of heading one. I can change the font. I can change the font size. I can change whether it's bold, italics, underlined. And of course, I can change the font color. Once I'm happy with that, I can simply go to OK, click OK again. And then I've got a preview here of how that heading will appear. And click OK. 
If you're happy with the preview that you've been presented with, then just simply click yes. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.